Good morning, I'm Colette Linden. And I'm Danny Dupuis. Welcome to the special report. Lots to digest Lots today. today. First of all, it's the last day of March, the, the 31st. It's also my cousin Aiden's birthday, so happy birthday to him. I just happy realized birthday. that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna cover off, you know what? We're gonna talk about the humor. We have to find humor. Yes. I love to laugh, Danny loves to laugh. We have a lot of good jokes. Well, I think I'm funny anyway, but so we're gonna talk about what's getting you through your days. We're gonna talk about what this means in nine months from now. A lot of Netflix and chill out A lot there. of Netflix and oh. chilling. We, we might throw uh, some slime together, but yeah. right now we're gonna throw to Chris, the COVID man. Please update us, Chris. Thank you. Things change hour by hour now, so we're gonna try and provide you the latest info. We now have a fifth case here in Algoma that I'll talk about. Uh, there's also a vaccine that's going to start trials very shortly uh, for COVID-19. Also gonna do a little update. Yesterday I told you about a nursing home where nine people have passed away and 34 um, staff members are presenting with COVID-19 symptoms. I'm gonna talk about how in other parts of North America, nursing homes are spreading rapidly um, through the nursing home. And then also, is it possible to get immunity from COVID-19? They don't know yet how, how great the chance is that if you get it, you'll never get it again. However, there is over the short term, the chance of you getting COVID-19 a second time probably won't happen, but I'll give you more details in a few moments. Back to you at the desk. Thanks, Chris. Okay, so let's turn to some humor. So <laughs> on the weekend, I've decided to start running the hill again, that big hill. Um, awesome, good guard, for you. I can't think, remember what it's called. It's a big hill. You yes. can see the city from the top. It's an amazing view. Anyway, so I carefully planned. I had my headphones on. I was rocking. I was walking through the snow. And um, like I carefully planned a route to get to the bottom of the hill. Well, no, I did not because the next thing I knew, I put two feet two feet down and I was going down and then my oh head my was thinking, goodness. when is this going to stop? I was just a torso. I was it. Just hanging there. But I laugh at myself a lot. I do some really silly things, so I do laugh at myself a lot. But I wasn't the only one who fell this weekend, so no. what's up with that? I went to Orphan Lake this weekend with my dog and we were in this most beautiful trail and I was just kind of in la-la land walking off. Same and with took me. Yeah, like, you know, you just have the headphones on and you're going. Right. I took a step and I went into probably about my hip, just one foot in, and then I'm yelling there at my dog, Tucker, come help me. Oh, see he your dog? me out. He's got a little strap out. on his backpack. And I just held on, and he just kind of slowly dragged me oh, out. Oh, that's so cool. He had the dog to help you. Yes, I, I, very I, true. Was, well, I looked around to see if anyone was watching, and I was like, why do I care? I look like an idiot. That's okay. <laughs> then I was trying to worm my, do the G.I. Joe crawl out. Anyway, so we're trying to find some humor. So obviously yes. there's a lot of memes out there right now. Um, my personal favorite this morning was, the one with Donald Trump and has the operation board in front of him. And it's like, he's looking to find a cure. So I, we, we should all be ha yes. thankful that Donald Trump is working to find a cure for working us. Working very oh, hard yes. for us. Stable genius. <laughs> yes, the stable genius, will. he's got one of the best minds of all time. There is another one I saw too, another meme, and it said, uh, quarantine day six, arguing with my cat. <laughs> Every morning I have the same conversation with my cat. He'll come into the bathroom with me and we'll literally yeah. sit there and just meow. Meow, meow, <laughs> and same it. time. It's 5.30 in the morning. You get fed at 6.30. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, so there's tons of good stories yeah. out there. So we want you to share them with us. That's kind of where we're going. Then. So mm. send us your funny memes. Tell us what you found out about your partner or your children or I your dog. I so much out about my parents. Or oh, your my parents. goodness. <laughs> Now listen, we're going to cut quickly to a, a video that was done yesterday mm. um, and it's all about art therapy. And again, this is part of our In This Together SSM campaign that we put together. We are highlighting community, um, community partners who are still going to work yeah. and doing their thing and trying to help the community out. So right now we're going to throw you to this video on art therapy. Hey Sault Ste. Marie, my name is Nicole Quinnell. Uh, today we have Maria with the Art Speaks Project. Hi Maria. Hi Nicole, how are you? I'm good. So I hear you good. have some things that are going to be happening on Instagram and Facebook. What is yes. that? Uh, we do. Um, so for folks who know or may not know, uh, the Art Speaks Project has been around since 2017. And in 2019, we started offering um, Art Hives, which are community studio spaces where folks are invited to come in, uh, work with art materials, and just work in community with other people. Um, and the hives have always been about, you know, building resiliency skills, helping people 
uh, work through trauma, that sort of thing. And uh, with this whole pandemic issue happening uh, within the last couple of weeks, uh, our last hive, which was March 18th, uh, was to have been held at the, at the museum. But with everything on lockdown, uh, we decided uh, to do it online. And so we started uh, an online cyber hive where folks nice. can work uh, mm -hmm. at home okay. with their art materials. And so um, I'm going to stick to the schedule that we had, which would be every second week. Mm -hmm. So our next one is going to be uh, April 1st. April 1st. So that's April a Wednesday. 1st, yes. I, yes. Well, it's always a Wednesday and it's mm -hmm. usually 5.30 to 8.30 at night. So I'm going to stick to that okay. uh, as our regular scheduled archives. Um, I've been doing a little experimenting to make sure I can use the media <laughs> yeah. properly. Yeah. And so hopefully on the, on Wednesday, the 1st of April, yes. uh, we'll be uh, live streaming from my kitchen table nice. on, uh, on Instagram and Facebook okay. at the Art Speaks Project. The Art that's Speaks the, Project. So on yeah, Facebook and Instagram, yeah. 530. Yeah. Nice. 530 to 830. Yeah. Okay. We're so I don't shot. have a lot of art supplies, but if I wanted to join in, would I need a lot? No, you don't. You don't actually need very much at all. Like if you even have just a piece of paper and a pen, that's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. um, but if you like to even sew, like if you have thread, needle, fabric, um, uh, I was just uh, playing around with a piece of canvas the other day that's uh, got it's been painted and collaged and then mm -hmm. beaded, right? With, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, needle and thread and beadwork and stuff like that. Uh, if you have just uh, lots of, geez, lots of like cardboard, uh, lots of uh, old magazines or anything like that, that's kind of mm -hmm. now that everyone's doing like spring cleaning and cleaning out their houses because you have the time for it, mm -hmm. um, you can just, you know, rip up images and uh, work, work on things to make collages. Nice. Uh, nothing, nothing complicated. Mm -hmm. Nothing complicated, right? Nice. We're just, we're just trying to trying to just, you know, sort of deal with some stress here, mm -hmm. trying to just uh, work in community while being at home. Just nice. kind of Thank you. So um, this is something we can also have the kids um, be involved sure. in then too? Oh yeah, definitely. Like uh, community archives are, are typically um, intergenerational and uh, we have been, um, because we have funding from uh, sexual assault care at the hospital, as well as Breton House, as well as the museum, uh, we have two kind of hives going on. We have mm -hmm. uh, those that are uh, for individuals who are adults who are dealing with trauma, that's sort of one group. And yeah. then we have our open to all community hives, which mm -hmm. are uh, open to all ages. Uh, kids, you know, usually come with their, with their parents or guardian, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and when you come to a hive, it's very much, we have a theme and you just work with whatever materials you find for that theme so uh in keeping with that the uh, cyber hives are definitely you know parents kids you know just all working together with whatever materials you have uh lying around the house um mm -hmm. and and you can just uh you know just sort of work just work while other people are online as well working with you mm -hmm. so you kind of don't feel so alone this alone. is the, to yeah. me this sounds great i think i yeah. would probably have a little glass of wine <laughs> yeah you could do whatever whatever it rocks your boat but because you're at home right yeah so, so you're it's, at it's home fine. absolutely <laughs> it's fine yeah but i love yeah. that idea absolutely yeah and uh and i think too like uh once like once all this kind of clears up and we're you know we're back out doing you know group things Mm -hmm. um, I think we probably will continue with the online hive aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's got great potential, and mm -hmm. uh, I mean, just I, I did a did a little test run on Sunday, and we were joined by a young woman all the way from Montreal, right? Mm -hmm. Who was alone, um, you know, quarantined uh, student, and really appreciated having other people to talk with, even though it is you know via social media. Yeah. Um, we were able to talk through Instagram and. Uh, you know, she was able to give us a bit of a video feed of what she's doing and show us her work and, you know, nice. all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, yeah it's really, really nice and it's really gratifying and uh, just really, just really lovely nice. to be able to connect with people. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. So the public needs to know that the Arts Beats Project is going to be live on April 1st at 530. Yep. And yep. you can join in at uh, on Facebook or Instagram. Totally. Yeah. Perfect. Anytime. That'd okay. be wonderful. Absolutely. Thank you for being with us. And Thanks for having me. No problem. We'll be right back.
And welcome back. What a great video Nicole did. And yeah. that was her first live interview. Way Kudos to go, to Nicole. Ooh. We love you. We have um, a few more interviews going on with our In This Together SSM campaign. We're reaching out to local businesses just to see how they're adapting to these new changes. So today we're going to be going to Hogan's Homestead. Um, they have maple syrup there. Hopefully me and the cameraman will be able to nice. dip in Get a little bit. Some. It's Get the some. season. <laughs> Super exciting. And we'll also be doing another interview with Feed Your Soul, a cute little cafe. Oh, nice. Again, really beautiful. Like their Instagram page right now is just it's going nuts with all the cr creative ideas that yeah. they're doing right now. And oh, they cool. have the St. Joe's blend coffee, which is my favorite. So, so you get hopefully. coffee and maple syrup. Yeah. I get to speak with Joyce from Primerica. She's a finance a brain, and I'm so happy to um, to have her on the show. So yeah, in this together, SSM, hashtag that. Send us your videos um, about being funny and humorous. We just want to thank Mike, our production manager, our, our everything man here, keeping us laughing yes. from 6 to 2. <laughs> you rock, Mike, and we're going to throw to a commercial right now and be right back with Chris and his update on COVID-19. day of March we're gonna throw it over to Chris to update us on everything COVID-19. Thank you Colette. Well it's now official we have our fifth case of COVID-19 here in Algoma. This is what we know. It's it's our first young person to catch COVID-19 here in Algoma. It's a man in his 20s who was on a vacation in Mexico. He came back on the 18th of March. He developed symptoms a couple days later. A couple days after that he went to his family health team and was tested. And as of last night, we know that he was positive for COVID-19. Now, fortunately, this young man actually followed the 14-day quarantine request and did not go out in public after returning from his vacation. However, Algoma Public Health would like people to know that if anyone was on Sunwing, Sunwing Airlines flight WG192 to Sudbury, that, and if you were in rows one to five, or you were the flight crew, uh, please reach out to Algoma Public Health or the public health uh, organization in your area. In Canada, we're now up to 6,313 cases with 66 deaths. Uh, yesterday, the Ontario number jumped up by 351. We're now at over 17,000 cases across Ontario. Johnson & Johnson is working on a vaccine. They're gonna start human trials in September and we could have a vaccine for COVID-19 as early as uh, spring 2021. Uh, yesterday we told you about a nursing home in Bob Cajun that had nine deaths so far and 34 staff members with COVID-19 symptoms. Right now they're having an outbreak in nursing homes across the US and I'll have more on that on my show later today. Back to the desk. Thanks Chris. Thank you. So what we didn't get a chance to touch upon was uh, what this means in nine months from now, because there's a lot of people at home, right? So yes. there's a blackout in 2003. Um, my little dolly, Connor, was only one. 
And uh, there was a big baby boom after that. So I'm thinking that might be the case, but we're going to talk about that later today, right? Yes, when we come back at 1 o'clock. What else yeah, do you want to talk about? Divorce rates go up as well. <laughs> <laughs> I actually heard a divorce lawyer yesterday talking, and he's getting, like, so many calls, more than normal. That's, so, yeah. that's possible. That's possible, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That, it can go either way, you know. <laughs> So we'll be back at 1 o'clock for our midday special report. Have an awesome, awesome Tuesday Thanks morning. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you after lunch. Thank you, Sue St. Marie.